yo what's good my people you're welcome once again to my channel this kuju japan and i'm very glad that you are taking this journey with me solving elective ict pass questions now without much ado let's jump into this one now what do we have for 2017 now for 2017 it goes to another different level same instructions but then um, we have an output that looks quite different from what we've seen so far so for this reason i'm going to suggest we also do something different so let me just snap this to the right and then bring an editor that is has going to make our work quite easier so we are used to notepad traditionally but you're going to use visual studio code today okay so i will just snap that at the left and then that is the interface how it looks like but then i'm going to just paste a link for those of you who want to just download it and use it to build cool and an awesome project okay all right so you have it down there in the description just look below this video now let's get to work now i have to create a file now what is this called um we should save our file as form.html so let's assume that okay so we have that now an amazing feature of this test editors is to give you color coding and then auto completion they help you auto complete files just as you do in excel auto filling so that you don't have to do a lot of manual work now this is metadata which we are not familiar with yet and let me just clean up some of the attributes so that we get to a stage where we are all familiar with the basic syntax of html all right i hope you are good here and then we can continue or begin to solve our, our problem okay so what do we have here we have to display this output in our window so for the look of things this looks like a table right yeah it looks like a table so this table has a form in its center and we are to indent our code and then set our title page to our full name and index number so let's quickly do that index number zero one one okay so that is set for our title now we move on to the body now in here body is where everything that we need to display lays at so first off we have to create a table now this looks like a whole row and then the second part looks like another row so that means you have to create two rows here so first off creating our table now our table here will just get a border of one so that we don't just get a thick outline so that is done you saw that auto complete right very cool completing our task for us so that we have to focus on being productive and not doing manual stuff over and over again okay so we create our first table so that we have this part this row so we create our table row now this table row we are not going to feed it with any data so our table details or table data here we're just going to create an extended stretched table that is just going to take the whole row so what we do here is just give it a width and then we set uh, we set the width value to let's say if we have go for 600 good and then the height so how long this will stretch and let's say that should be an easy 25 all right so we go with that and we save this all right so i'm going to spin up a live server so that we get to see whatever we are doing so this is basically what we've done so far so this piece of code created this so that is the width 600 and then the height 25 so we have that 
Now we have to go to the question and then create the below part, this part, which forms a huge row too. So we have to create another row. So table row, and then with this table row, we're going to fill it with details. We only need height. The height will already will just auto fit to the width that has been set up here, right? So the height, let's say, let's go for 200 and see how good or how bad it looks like. Okay, so we have something perfect, quite perfect. We can adjust that value based on how you feel and want it to be. Now, after creating that, then we go ahead and then create this part, the form that is embedded into this table details here, this part. This is what we need to create. Okay. So based on that, we have to we have to come in here and then start creating our form. Okay. So first off, we create a form. And inside this form, what we see here is called a field set. Now the field set is just an a tag or an element that groups related elements in a form. So we're going to set a field set. And then this field set will contain this form element. Now inside this field set here, we have to create a caption. Now what is this caption? What we see here, the custom name that is describing whatever we have in the form, that is called a legend. So it, the legend just captions our form element. So we create a legend here, okay? And then the legend there is what? Customer name. So we fix that in there. Good. So how does, how does our work look like so far? So let's save this and then see. Oh, great, right? Yeah, we're getting somewhere. So we move on. We've done that. Now we have to continue with the field elements. Just as we see in there, we have to create a label. We have to create a label, a label in there, and then the label we are creating that for the first name. So we choose an alias, F name, for identification purposes, and we give it a name. So first name, and then right after the first name, you see that there is an a box there, a test field. We call that a text field. So where user inputs kind of data. So the input type here is going to be test. And we give it an ID F of F name as we just used up there. And then probably a name too for data handling purposes. So that is that. And then we have to repeat the same thing for last name. Quickly, we can just copy and paste this and then change the various elements in there. So first name becomes last name and then F name, we have L name and what else do we have to change? F name to L name, F name to L name. So we have something cool. All right, let's save this and see where we have. Nice. But it seems there is a bit of problem, right? We need to fix this series arrangement here so that we have them in parallel. So first name up, last name down. How do we do that? We just have to break. So when we insert break here, this is what happens. So last name comes down all right, but there is no breathing gap between them. We insert another break so that we have space between them. Are we good? Yeah, I'm sure we are. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Basically, we are almost, we are just done with the work. This is how, or the various thing that uh, we are supposed to display in our browser. Yeah. But the last part is, how do we center this whole field set in the middle of the table? So if anything, we can employ CSS, cascading style sheets, 
to help us fix that so we take the whole we add an attribute the field set element so style for css yeah now we're going to check on with the width of what we're trying to accomplish we set a particular value so let's go with 500 pixels then we set margin we set that to a zero pixel and then make sure that it's auto scales so when that is done when i save this wow voila our work is done it is complete so just as we have there in the question we see that we have an exact replica here so all that you have to do is to save our work right now we have this in vs code i'm just going to copy this code now open the usual notepad that we are used to and then paste the code in it so basically if we started here would have end up the same way so that is that and then we just go on to save so hit on file and then save us we go into drive c where we are instructed to create a username that is our name for our folder that is initials kojo japon takes ka followed by my index number and then we are told to save this work as form.html now when that is done we just have to just invoke the file extension make sure encoding is set to utf8 and then we hit on save all right so this is from the live server so i can close this go and then find our file and then open it and then see if we truly have saved our work so that is our folder this is our work double click on it and voila there you go so basically that is it now thank you for sitting through if you are new here please subscribe like the videos if it's helpful comment how this is helping in your studies if you've learned something new let me know if there is anything you want me to address to you, leave it in the comments down below. I appreciate your feedback. Share with your friends. Spread it wide. And then let's all grow and learn happily and pass our exams. Thank you. And then see you in the next video. Bye-bye.